Hey guys, Antonio here. Okay, so I'm in London and I thought you all would be interested in my everyday wear. There are certain pieces of clothing I find that I gravitate towards. They just work with the weather right now. It's, it's nice, it's beautiful. It's probably in the high 40s, maybe low 50s, uh, a Sunday morning. But a lot of times I'm dealing with drizzle. It has gotten down to the freezing weather uh, in the evenings here. Nothing super bad, not like Wisconsin, except for the drizzle. I, I knew it was gonna be here. And so I brought clothing that would work appropriately. And let me share with you exactly what I'm wearing. And everything I'm talking about, I'm gonna link to down in the description. Now, this outer jacket, which you can probably see right here, dark gray, this is from Ministry of Supply. One of my favorite, it's, it's basically a Mac design. It's got a hidden pocket right in here, which I love for my billfold, keeping you know my money and stuff safe on the inside. Now, it's got two outside pockets on each side, which are really camouflaged really well. So I like this one as well. And uh, you know, just the gray color works with almost everything in my wardrobe and it's water resistant. Not fully, I wouldn't say it's fully waterproof, uh, but water resistant is really all I need here in London because we're not getting torrential downpours. It has a hood that pops out as well, which is very useful. But for a steady drizzle, just you know, walking through the, the London for an hour, this works perfectly fine. Again, I'm gonna link to it down in the description. Now, this is a thin jacket, and so you wanna have an insulating layer. I talk about the importance of layering, it gives you options. Right here, this jacket right here is from Belfield, but you can pick them up from a wide variety. This is a quilted jacket. Uh, this one's made from a synthetic material, but you can find them in a wide variety. Varieties. You could have gone with, uh, I know I could have gone with something with down, uh, but remember, one of the issues with down when it gets wet is it becomes pretty much useless. So I opted for this synthetic uh, jacket right here because I can still get it a bit wet. It's gonna work fine. It actually reminds me of a jacket I had in the Marine Corps. So you could pick up something like this. I wouldn't recommend picking up Army Surplus. They don't really look as good from the outside. This one made, I think, from Belfield, but I'll link to a couple other companies I think that have pretty good jackets like this. Um, so yeah, so here's a kind of a, it's got a military, you know, quilted jacket look. Overall, I like it a lot. Then underneath, okay, so I've got a Henley right here from Public Rec. I've talked about this company before and I love it. Uh, I find a Henley just much more stylish than a t-shirt. And uh, I like the long sleeve option. So I've got three layers that I've talked about here on the upper body. Then I've got my undershirt from Rib Tea. Now I've talked about Rib Tea before, great company, but what I love is the deep V-neck. So no one sees I'm wearing that undershirt. It uses a really breathable material that just looks great and feels great. Uh, so I go ahead and I pull this option off. So that's my upper body. Uh, lower body, I've got a pair of Mavi jeans on right now. I also brought with me, um, what was it, a pair of Levi's. Uh, I've just bought two pairs of jeans that I'm going back and forth with, testing out both brands. I know Levi's, I haven't worked with actually either of these companies as a sponsor, but both of them make great jeans. I'll link to them down in the description. Uh, underwear, so I brought with me Tanny, which I'm wearing right now, and I've also got Sheath. So I've talked about that company, you know, basically they've got extra support for those of you that deal with chafing and basically maybe have a, you know, yeah, uh, I'm not gonna go into it too de detailed, but if you deal with any type of chafing in the, uh, the testicle area, you definitely wanna check out that brand. Now when it comes to shoes, okay. So let's go down here. All right, you see that? Thursday Boots. So I've talked about this company before. They use a Goodyear welt, amazing company. I've met the founders, spent time with them in New York. And what I love about Thursday Boots, it's a very, very durable boot. So we're talking a boot that's gonna be able to hold up in cold, wet weather, which is exactly what I needed here. The Goodyear welt with the rubber sole, uh, what this does is it gives me a lot of traction here in London. Now I also bought, brought a pair of Chelsea boots, same style, but very different design from uh, Paul Evans. And the reason I brought that is those boots I just showed you, I cannot wear with a suit. I had a number of events, which I attended here, conferences and things like that. And um, I just simply needed something that could, I could also deal with a bit of rain. So I decided to go with a very sleek Chelsea boot that uses actually a Blake stitch. Like I talked about, the ones I'm wearing right now are gonna be bulkier. Overall, it's a heavier look and that works for casual. But if you want something for a suit, those boot, the Thursday boots are not gonna work for a suit, but something like Paul Evans with their, uh, with their uh, Blake stitch, which has a much sleeker and overall, I would say more minimalist design is gonna work out better for, for dressing up. So I've talked about that. Oh, what am I wearing for a backpack? So uh, Genius Pack, talked about this company before. This actually is great because it works with my carry-on luggage and I've just been using it. What I love about Genius Pack, all the pockets. They've got, in, you know, just, I don't know, it's like 20 pockets on this little backpack. So I can hide things, I can put them, I can separate them. And I find that's really useful for me. So 
Guys, this is what I've been carrying. Um, you know, I really love all the options, all the pockets, and this has worked for me for my stay here in London. So if you've got any questions, let me know down in the comments, and uh, that's it. So guys, uh, take care, and I'm headed to Paris next. So I'll make sure to do maybe a similar video and talk about what I'll be wearing and uh, what I'll be seeing in Paris. Sound good, guys? Take care.